y'all so it's Raquel and I'm doing the Milso tag today if you're new here my name is Raquel and this is my channel with my husband Brandon we're just documenting our life and things that go on and honestly it's just for us to look back on but you guys have the chance to look at it and ask questions if you need help so today I'm doing the military spouse tag um, I've been a military spouse for a little less than a year so I was like why not just see how my answers change from now to like later. Without further ado, here it is. How did you and your spouse meet? We met in high school. We were in a NJROTC program which is a um, military based program. We met in that program and we became friends like instantly and hung out all the time. How old were you when you two met? When we met, I was 14 and he was 16. How long have you been together? We've been together three years and four months as of today. Where are you and your spouse originally from? We are originally from Colorado. We're from a small town called Montrose and we were both born and raised there. How did you feel about him joining the military? So like I said, we were in a military-based program, so it was kind of just like given that he was gonna join and I wanted to join, but there's just been so many like bumps in the road, so I decided it's probably not in my best interest to, but I kind of knew what was happening like sometime he was gonna join, whether it was right after high school or three years later. Where did your spouse go to basic training? So he's in the Air Force, so he went to Lackland Air Force Base, which is in San Antonio, Texas. But he was there June to July for basic training and June to or July to October for Security Forces Tech School. Has your spouse ever been deployed? No, he has not, but that's also because he's only been in for less than a year. Um, it's only been about 10 months, uh, about to be 11 months of him being in. So I know that he will deploy at some point in his career, but he has not deployed as of this moment yet. Ever been to his promotion ceremony? I have not. How long have you been a military wife? Uh, Brandon joined June 3rd, like he left that day. Like left, um, arrived at Lackland June 3rd. Almost 11 months. So a little bit more than 10, a little less than 11. Did you marry him before or after he joined? I married him last April, so before he joined. How did your husband propose? He wrote on cards and set them around our whole like town. He gave them to like my favorite place to eat, like the hosts right there, and then Applebee's, the host, at our school, at our favorite coffee location, like stuff like that on a little like scavenger hunt with my best friend. And then I went home, did a little bit more of the scavenger hunt, and then I turned around and he was right there and he proposed. So it was really cute, really sweet, really thought out, and I really liked it. Where did you get married? So we got married in Montrose, our little town. Uh, we had a wedding planned for March 28th, but COVID hit and we just had to cancel everything. We tried to push it back till April 25th, but COVID was still a thing. So we ended up just going down to the courthouse. How old were you two when you got married? I was 17 and he was 20. Did he wear his uniform on his wedding day? No, because he was not in the military yet and we didn't have a big wedding. So when we do, he probably will. Where is your spouse currently stationed? We are at Goodfellow Air Force Base in San Angelo, Texas. Do you live on base? Yes, we do live on base. Uh, I did film an empty house tour of our this house that we're in right now. Um, if you guys wanna go look at it, I'll have it at the very end of this video and in the description box below. How long were you married when you had to go through your first separation? We were married a month. <laughs> Um, a, li a little more than a month, like a week, a month and a week before he left for basic training and he was gone for five months. And then he came home and we packed up and moved. What is your favorite base so far? 
So since this is our first base, I've only been here. This is my favorite base because it's really the only one we've ever lived at. <laughs> Do you think your spouse looks good in his uniform? Yes, 100%. Do you like the benefits you receive as a military dependent? Yes. Um, TRICARE to me is really great. I love TRICARE with all my heart. Um, I've had TRICARE my entire life because my dad. Yeah. If you guys want more videos on TRICARE, on United Concordia uh, for dental and stuff and anything military related, I can pretty much answer those questions because I understand that more. But TRICARE specifically, I can answer a lot more questions on because I just talked to them for so long and like dealt with them for so long that... I can help you out. So let me know if you guys want a video on TRICARE. Do you have a lot of military wife friends? So I have one best friend here so far. So far. I can't say that I'm only going to have one best friend. But I have one best friend so far. Three friends that are like really good to me and I like want to hang out with. And then four more friends on top of that that I'm just like hanging out with in a group. You know? So in total like eight to ten friends that I have. What is the hardest part of the military life? I think the hardest part is being separated from your family. Like, I'm really close to my family. He's really close to his family. So being separated was really hard when we moved down here. Do you own military wife stuff? Yes, I do. I just don't wear it. Uh, I feel awkward wearing it, I guess, because I feel like people are gonna make fun of me. Do you support your spouse as a member of the military? Of course I do, 100%. I think that he will succeed in all things that he does and I'm here to support him and help him with whatever he needs. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and comment below any video ideas. I can do absolutely anything that you guys ask. I want to be able to help you. I'm not saying that I never found people on YouTube not to help me, but there's some questions that I have that I know I'm going to make videos on because people just don't think about them. You know what I mean? So if you have questions that you think nobody is like listening to you or something, I'll, I'll help you. We can be friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of me and my husband. Hopefully he'll be in some more videos. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.